Hello, um, it's Dave here. I just thought I'd uh, give you an update on what's been going on uh, with uh, our farm purchase. Um, you're probably aware that, uh, as per my previous video, that um, we had to get the Geometra guys in uh, to essentially remap the ground and sort out the borders because we wanted a bit of extra land. Um, that took forever to try and get a Geomet uh, guy on site at considerable cost. Um, so yeah, um, he turned up did his thing, was still waiting for the report, and uh, he sent a, a letter through. Yesterday we got the letter. Uh, needing permission for us to do the delimitations in the cadastre, when we haven't bought it with the buyers. Uh, anyway, um, so we've, we've sent that off, given permission. The um, the other curveball that's uh, raised its um, ugly head is um, because we're buying a farm and it's uh, owned individually by several people, part of a fa family, uh, uh, the, the guy's, the seller's brother uh, is refusing to sign the uh, sale extension um, due to the delays in the geometra so uh, he's refusing because his daughter wants one of the barns in the property and uh, we've told them we're buying it buying the, the whole farm as an entirety uh, and we're going to use the barn and um, yeah, it's a bit bizarre. He's refusing to do that, so hence the sale might not be a sale. So we stand to lose um, quite a considerable amount of money, um, not just through uh, fees, um, but we have we, we will lose our deposit as, as well. So we're we're probably looking looking in the region of losing maybe up to fifteen thousand euros. And we haven't done anything. Uh, we've got nothing to show for that money. Um, we can't, uh, even when we've bought, or uh, if we purchased the farm, we, we couldn't move in um, because it's in a state of disrepair. So it needs work doing to it. It needs investment. Um, and I, I estimate maybe 200,000 euros to... Um, to fully refurbish the farm, maybe more. I, I, the prices are going up for materials globally. So yeah, yeah, it's um, it's a bit crazy. And um, so we've just got to see what happens through this. If, if he does sign it, then we've got an extension until the end of the month. Well, what are we at the moment? We are 10th of June. So the extension was for the 29th of June. Um, so if he, if he signs it, then all good. Uh, if he doesn't sign it, then we've lost a sale and uh, some money. Um, on the other hand, I was uh, speaking to the wife this week about this. And I, I found a property... Um, on the outskirts of Andouille, um, which is north of Laval, <coughs> 15 minutes north, 10 minutes north from where we are at the moment, or where I am at the moment. And um, it's, uh, it's a farm, uh, it's a smaller farm, it's only what, three and a half acres, um, but it's got a, um, um, a Maison de Met. Um, so, it's, um, it's it's quite a big house. Up here. It's four bedrooms, but it's it's a nice looking house. 
and um, yeah, and it's got several barns, uh, a lodge. Um, what else has it got? Oh, it's got an orchard, and um, yeah, it, it, it looks interesting. The only potential issue is it's close to the river Ernie. I don't know how you pronounce that. Er Ernie. Er Ernie. Anyway, so, and you have to cross a weir to get to the actual house. So there may be a flooding risk. But, I've got to find out. I, I sent an email to the um, estate agents uh, day before yesterday. I've heard nothing yet. Uh, so, that's estate agents in France for you. They're not very good with technology, as in emails. So they like to talk. But, you know, it is what it is. And um, you've got to go with the flow. So I'll ask the wife to give them a call tomorrow morning. Because I asked to view it for tomorrow morning. But they haven't contacted us. So, um, what else can I tell you? Um, I'm still ploughing on with this place, um, getting s some materials sorted. Got to, I'm sat on a loo at the moment, the downstairs loo, talking to yourselves, and uh, yeah, just um, preparing to build some stud walls and lay some concrete. I just wish we had. I wish I had my tools. But I haven't got the tools. They're still in storage. Um, yeah. But um, yeah, things are plodding on. Oh, and yeah, I, I cracked a tooth yesterday. In fact, no, I was eating some my breakfast, some muesli, healthy stuff, and. Um, I already had a problem with one of my back wisdom back teeth. It's not wisdom. I've had them out, and um, it uh, it cracked. And so I'm on soft foods only. So that's fruits, <laughs> um, wet lettuce, um, uh, asparagus, veg. Anything hard, I can't touch at the moment. No nibbles, no nothing. Um, and I have to emphasize uh, chewing on this side. It's great. But, uh, and now we gotta find a dentist. Um, I know there's a good local dentist, but uh, because I still don't speak the language, I'm struggling with the language at the moment. But um, even though my wife is French, believe that. So do I listen to my wife more? I would say yes. So yes, I, I reckon I should listen to my wife a bit more. Um, and then I, I should learn a bit more and keep on learning. But I've gone into a slump. It's... Uh, it's been a, a slow week really because we can't do anything because I haven't got certain tools and I, I don't want to buy tools all over again. And it's, it will just cost money. And there's, there's my wife going to work and there's me. I'm sat around the, the rented Jeep that we're in, um, uh, searching for jobs, um, you know, to, just to fill, fill the gap, fill the time. English, English jobs, um, remote, um, my past is uh, IT related, 30 years in the IT industry, um, operational service management, that type of thing, um, data center management, but um, yeah, I, I did uh, have a, uh, someone look, uh, look me up on, on uh, LinkedIn, and uh, it was a data center manager role. Fantastic. 
and um, he said, yeah, it's local to you. And um, and then he called me back, he says, oh no, it's in Strasbourg. I went, well, I'm on the other side of France. I'm not gonna commute, am I? And I'm not gonna relocate now because I'm relocated to Mayhem. But it was a fantastic job. Um, so I, I, I couldn't accept it. Um, good money. Um, they're crying out for IT people over here, uh, specialised IT people. Um, ideally, I would do something in service management, change management, operations management, that type of thing, but remote. Uh, I don't want office based anymore. Um, it's a breeding, it's a breeding ground, and I, I can do much more working from home. That's if it, if I had to get a job. But um, yeah, so I'm looking at the, the LinkedIn and I think they call it LinkedIn over here, which makes my wife smile quite a bit. And um, even my wife, she's been asked whether she's French because she's got an English accent when she speaks French. So, which is interesting and quite funny. Um, oh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> yes. So, so that's where we are. What else can I tell you? Um, we may be going on holiday soon. Uh, just to down tools and I think my wife needs it. She's going through, she's, she's, she's having to do all the paperwork because she, she, she knows the language. Tax returns. Oh, don't get me started about tax returns. Why do France still, why do you have to do tax returns even if you're PAYE, they've only gone to PAYE in, in the last couple of years, and yet you still have to do tax returns. What's that about? It makes no sense. It's ridiculous. Because the online system that they've got isn't fit for purpose. Um, my wife entered our details last year in, in, the, in the Inland Revenue, the French equivalent of the Inland Revenue. Um, she entered them last year um, to change our address into France. We're now domiciled in France and stuff, stuff like that. And because you have to mention what accounts you've got outside of France, or else it's up to a 15,000 euro fine. Anyway, I digress. Um, so, the um, yeah, she filled filled all the forms out, filled everything online, even called them to say, yeah, we're domiciled in France. This is our current address. Blah blah blah. We went. She went. She signed on this week to finalise everything, just to update certain things because there's nothing really we needed to update. And we found that when she logged in, she still domicile in the UK according to their online system which is bloody ridiculous and I thought what is going on with this country it's, it's like the lack of accountability the IT system it's 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 stupid the it's like you have to do your tax returns to keep so keep someone from the inland revenue employed if you work for the civil service in france you literally have a job for life they cannot sack you it's it's crazy um it's uh, it's crazy this is what i've heard this is what my wife has, has mentioned to me um so so yes we had to fill we had to go to the post office, get some more tax return paperwork, fill them in, scan them with lens, Microsoft lens. If you haven't got Microsoft lens for your phone, get it. It's fantastic. Even throw it on your iPad if you've got one. Microsoft lens. It's free. Just it enables you to scan documents into a PDF. And if you, if, or a JPEG, um, if it goes into JPEG, then you just download it to you, your computer, use the tool, um, desktop tool called NAPS, NAPS 2 I think it's called, 
download that. It's a fantastic collation tool and you can change any document into a PDF format. So if you haven't got it, get it. It's Microsoft Lens and Naps 2. Brilliant, get them. So yes, we had to fill out all the paperwork and um, so that's 24 sheets of paper. Um, 24. Um, bearing in mind, we, we don't have to pay any tax because of the we're a couple, um, my wife works, but because this, we're a married couple, the tax offset, we don't have to pay tax. So, um, yes, uh, so that's, I think it's 20, I said 24 sheets of paper, and I had to might use Microsoft Lens to scan them in, use the NAPS tool, collate them into one, well, actually, I did collate them into one PDF, but the PDF was too big. They only, accept, they only accept 10 meg on the Inland Revenue site. So it's um, I had to individualize them. So yeah, collate them into PDFs and then send them, attach them to their Inland Revenue site, send the email off and send that six times and we're having to post them as well registered recorded there is a distinct lack of accountability here so you have to record it and you have to cover your backside um, i'm not used to that because i guess i've become complacent because the uk's tax system is pretty much well i won't say it's faultless um, but it, it's fit for purpose. Their, their IT systems are generally fit for purpose. Um, but uh, don't get me started on the UK. What is happening in the UK? It's absolutely crazy. Uh, Bojo, why is he still in? He was useless from the beginning. He's a blatant liar. Um, he's as corrupt as the, as, as a, as the mafia. Current UK government are as corrupt as the mafia. Um, I'm just astounded the Conservatives are still in power. And I'm so shocked that there hasn't been a coup. What's going on? It's just, I mean, okay, Labour, they're not the best. They're, they're not, um, they're a bit slow on the uptake, Labour. Um, but Keir Starmer, he's trustworthy. Um, okay, he, he may not be uh, flamboyant and laddish like um, Alexander de Peffel, bloody Boris Johnson or whatever his bloody name is. The guy grips my shit, honestly. Boris Johnson. No. Should be out. Is the UK equivalent of Trump. And this Rwanda thing, it's it's illegal. It is illegal. Pretty Patel, yeah. Don't get me started on her. Yeah. So yeah, uh, Conservatives, uh, a bunch of um, corrupt, coked up, Mafia style Russian sponsored, yeah. So, whatever you do, I'm not in the UK anymore. This is why I left. Brexit is why I left. My wife's French, I love my wife, I love my country, but not as it is at the moment. It's a mess, it needs sorting out. People need to come together. The diversions that the Conservatives have put in place, or UKIP Conservatives have put in place, yeah, I, I have divided the country. The country needs to come together. You need a national strike. Not just a rail strike, a national strike. Everyone needs to strike. Get on them streets. I would come over there, but I've said to myself, I'm not... I'm not going back to the UK. 
for a long time. Now I've been over in France now for two years. Not done a lot in that two years, apart from COVID, lockdowns, uh, looking for jobs, and then moving to the Mayen when the wife got a job. So, and house hunting, a bit of DIY, trying to stay healthy, that type of thing. Touch wood, or I'm sat on a plank of wood. Um, the health will remain. But, um, yeah, I, 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 the UK, mm, bad news, bad news. The pound's crashing, has been crashing now since Brexit. Um, I think before Brexit, it was 127, 128 um, against the euro. And uh, was it now 117, I think? Yeah. Um, being classed as an emerging market. What's all that about? <laughs> That's like a third world country being classed as a, as a, a emerging market. Food banks. There are more food banks now than there are banks. That's just ridiculous. There's more food banks in the UK than there are McDonald's. It's, it's, it's ludicrous. People should not be starving. What, what? I just don't understand it. Why people are so gullible in the UK for this far right crap. Everyone should love one another. People are generally stupid. But you treat everyone with respect. You treat everyone how you would like to be treated. That's, is that, that's normal, isn't it? That's, that's how I, that's how I treat people with respect. I don't necessarily trust everyone. I don't trust anyone. The trust has to be earned, but I still treat people with respect. So, yeah, I, do, I just don't understand it. I don't understand it. I'm venting, aren't I? Yeah, I'm venting. Yes, but um, yeah, so where do we go from here? Right, this place, we're gonna get it sorted. We have to be in here for at least September, even though the Vajit that we're staying at, it's a great place. It's in the middle of, of nowhere, uh, near um, Mesle Me Domain or Mele Domain. It's a place called Chemery Le Roi, um, and the couple that um, own the, the G, they're a wonderful couple. Um, funny, I find, I find the gentleman very funny. And um, every time I talk to him, we put the world to right. And it's, uh, it's entertaining. And, uh, and she, she's just got her, one, a French degree, I believe. So she, yeah, they, they're doing they were do, they're doing good, and he came up to me the other day and he said, uh, Dave, um, you know we were talking about you want to be uh, uh, we'd like you to, you know you have up until September um, to find a place uh, to move into your new place, and he said scrub that, you can stay as long as you, as long as you like, um, as long as you like, ten years whatever, stay as long as you like. I went, oh, thanks. That's very kind of you. And um, they're saying the rents help help them out a, a lot. Um, okay, the rent isn't a lot, but um, every little thing counts. So um, yeah, we're, we're going to try and uh, get the bathroom sorted here and the kitchen sorted. Still waiting for the electrician. He's he's supposed to be starting. This month, maybe, July, maybe, who knows, who knows. But I've got to put these stud walls up before he gets in so he can use the stud walls as um, to route some of his cables. So, 
Oh, I've been gallivanting, gallivanting on for what's this? Uh, Twenty-five minutes now. Uh, that's just. I might have to cut this vid. Um, yeah, I'll put this vid out separately. Um, uh, so yeah. Um, what else can I tell you? No, there's nothing else I can tell you at the moment. Um, no. Anyway, uh, sorry for ranting, but I have to rant. Um, I, I'm not, I haven't got anyone really to talk to, apart from my wife. I love to bit, I love her dearly, but I need some kind of social interaction sometimes. And uh, I'm building up um, the, the social database of, of, of people, slowly but surely. We're meeting new people every other week. Um, they have a system in, in, in France, well, in the Mayenne anyway, uh, whereby uh, the company that my wife works for sponsors uh, 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 an enterprise whereby anyone new that moves to the Mayenne um, are invited to the social gatherings and they could be at museums, they could be at cabarets, um, um, e eating events, that type of thing, so all social events. And um, it's to, a way to meet people because you're new to the area. And um, it, it, it's, it's a wonderful thing. I, I've never seen or heard of this before and it's absolutely wonderful. And uh, we've met a, a few nice people on it and uh, the culture over here, it, it's, it's great. It, it, it really is good. The food's good. Um, can't, can't knock the food over here, it's, it's, it's really good. The, um, the only surprising thing I'm struggling with, I can't find lamb mints anywhere. What's going on? I mean lamb mints, just lamb mints. I want to make a um, a Tom Kerridge um, fat-free, well, healthy options lamb curry um, with uh, pui lentils. It's absolutely delicious. If you if you haven't cooked it, it's delicious um, with some rice. It doesn't have to be with rice. You just you have it with um, uh, chopped up cauliflower. It's, it's it's gorgeous. And lamb in general, I can't find lamb anywhere, and it's it's. Ooh, massively expensive over here for lamb so we're having to stick with uh, beef mints um, and to make lasagnas and stuff like that because I'm the main cook in the house because the wife goes out to work I do all the cooking and cleaning etc etc I don't mind doing that because I have to pull my weight so and uh, and that's what I do until things change, until we move in, and then I'll still be DIYing, learning, even though she, I think she, th she thinks I'm getting a bit too old to do some stuff, knocking around, because I have to watch my wrist. Yeah, I've got a knackered wrist. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm, 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 I'm venting again. I do apologize. Um, I'll have to cut this bit down, like I've said before, um, thank you for watching and uh, I will give you updates of the renovation but there's not uh, the last video I showed you it even though the camera work was a bit shady you'll you, you'll get the gist um, I will love you and leave you um, you know if, if you want to follow me uh, on here it'd be great you know, click a thumbs up um, add me to your favourites whatever it is on YouTube I, I don't know um, I follow quite a few of the people in France um, uh, French countryside life fantastic he's so chilled out and relaxed he may as well be horizontal and AJ in France is another one um, yeah follow them all Petherix yeah Life of Ryan they're all good, very funny, some of them. Um, very confident in front of the camera, unlike myself. Um, anyway, gonna go. Uh, like, 
subscribe if you want to and um, I'll update you all soon. Cheers. Bye bye. Hello, quick walk around. Here you go. Right. So this tape on the floor is where the new stud wall is going to go. This is going to be a, uh, a bedroom with an ensuite and the door to the ensuite is going to be there. So we have to fill this in and then stud wall up, doorway here, just here, and the ensuite comes through this door and then you see the tape on the floor, that is the ensuite. So where the step ladder, step ladders are, that's going to be your shower. And the plumbing for the shower is going to go behind the toilet and down into there. So that's going to be interesting. I'm going to <clears throat> put a pipe into there and, a, um, and two inlets are going to be put into there. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be that's going to be good. The doorway is there. Just got to knock this through. Yeah, all good. Um, not sure whether I've you've actually seen the garage yet. Here's the garage. It's quite a large garage. Got loads of junk in the corner. Yeah, yeah. The wife's kayak. Yeah, because we're next to the main river, so that's that's good. Yeah. Back door. Yeah. Up the stairs. Let's go upstairs, shall we? Here we go. Up the stairs. And as you can see, nothing has changed here. Not really. Pictures are still up. There we go, there's the old cook event. And this is where the stud walls were. So, it's marked out for a kitchen island. You can see the tape on the floor there. And over there. So the kitchen island is going to go there. Um, new floor is going to be put on. Walls are going to be skimmed. Yep, it's going to be good. And here we go into the bathroom. We finally got the bath out. Oh boy, that was heavy. Just me and the missus going to, dragging it downstairs. It was crazy. So yes, we've got a plumbing issue here. So I'm not quite sure. I'm going to have to dig that out and replumb. So we're having a corner bath in this unit in this corner here and above it here i've got to chase out a channel coming down here you're gonna have a, a shower and um with the shower it comes with a bath mixer as well so it'll all be plumbed in um we'll be using pecs to come away come out from there going all the way to over here and then up the wall and it will come out here for, your, for here for your bath and then you'll have a shower head up here and then you'll have a look further shower head at the top so that'll be good um, yeah we'll find that bath this weekend and the sink here here yeah, that's straightforward uh, she wanted she wanted dual sinks, but I don't think it's big enough for dual sinks here. It's quite common in France. In 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 the UK, um, people want to want to do their ablutions um, alone, pretty much. Well, men do. Well, I've always done them on my own, but in France, they like to double up. So yeah, going to have new walls and new floor basically in here. So that'd be good. New flooring throughout. Um, yeah, 
Should be good. Um, so we've got there's the shower. So on here, you've got a that is your bath tap, and these are your mixes. So we would basically you don't need any any other taps. So this replaces your taps, your bath taps. And then you go up and then you've got your, your shower and then you've got your rain shower. So that'd be good. Got the sink for the kitchen. Uh, toilet, yeah, toilet, it's a toilet. And then in here, uh, yeah, nothing's changed. Apart from, we did get Henry. Swear by it. First time ever bought a Henry. Absolutely amazing. Amazing. Uh, no product placement here, by the way. I, I'm not sponsored, no nothing. So, but if you're gonna get a Henry for work, this is the one you want. It's absolutely amazing. Anyway, on that note, I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Bye.